Welcome to this episode on creating 3D fault surfaces in QGIS. QGIS has the ability to display geological data in 3D, although it struggles with large datasets. Paraview, on the other hand, offers amazing ability to display highly intensive datasets with complete ease and it has a very user-friendly interface. This video builds on the previous episodes, I invite you to watch them first. On my hypothetical site, the geological map indicates a fault line cutting through the top of the Cretaceous. Most of the data has already been transferred into Paraview, and I am now extracting contours from the digital elevation model and converting them into a point set to export it into CSV format. Before exporting the file, I also need to add X and Y coordinates to the layer and adjust the attribute fields. Finally, I can save my DM point data as a CSV file. To upload the digital elevation model into Paraview, I will use the open option from the file menu and choose my file. I may also choose the file format to display fewer files. To convert the spreadsheet data into points, I will use the filter called Table to Points and specify the XYZ columns in the properties, pressing Apply and then turning on the pipeline. In Paraview, it is possible to convert points into a surface using the Delaunay triangulation. The Delaunay algorithm is designed to arrange triangles such that they appear as equal sided as possible. As the next stage, I will look for any indications of fault structures at the geophysical profile. Then, I will press Add Selection and the letter D on my keyboard. After selecting the first point, I will press D again and click on another point while holding the Control key on the keyboard. This way, I am selecting points which are aligned with the fault. I am using the Extract Selection option from the Data Analysis submenu and will adjust the display of the extracted points. The point set representing the fault can now be saved as a CSV file. The second geophysical profile has been uploaded into QGIS, georeferenced similarly to one of the previous episodes, and its coordinates have been updated. Its attribute fields have been adjusted and the dataset has been exported as a CSV file in the same way as the DEM. Before loading the profile back into Paraview, I manually edited it and limited the dataset to the depth range I am interested in. After that it I can use this dataset to trace the fault location. After extracting selected points, it's time to export my interpretation and review it in QGS. I am first adding the interpretation from the first profile.
Next I am adding the fault interpretation from the second profile. I will also check another profile running parallel to the north of the first one but its interpretation is not clear. I have merged the fault interpretations with Merge Vector tool from Vector General menu and use Thin Plate Spline to create the fault surface. Then I will extract contours, use it to create a point set and transfer it to PAR view. Time to manually edit the fault surface and trim it to relevant depths. After that the file is ready for uploading and displaying as a point set in PAR view. Now I can interpolate my point set and display the fault surface in 3D. The fault surface within the Cretaceous is ready. I could also display the fault in QGS, although showing it together with other would be problematic. When QGIS and ParView are used together, these two packages may offer a powerful and free option to interpret and display data. Please subscribe and write a comment if you would like me to explain anything. Thank you for watching this episode.